Hi, I'm Grace Hopkins, and it's been several years since the incident with my sister Nina. Now, she's a monster who kills in cold blood. But I imagine that this fact will not surprise you if you remember the night she killed my mom and almost killed me. She left me in an abandoned house without helping me or checking if I was still alive. Luckily, the doctors and police arrived and saved me. Even so, I was hospitalized for a long time due to the serious injuries I suffered. When I managed to leave, I went directly to my house. I wanted to collect my things. But as soon as I entered, I could see a pool of blood from my mother's body. A chill ran through my body, but I couldn't feel sadness. I only could feel hatred towards my sister Nina. I took everything I needed from my room, and there I saw a photo with Nina. It had written, together forever, and I could only cry and think, why have you abandoned me like this? Then I went to my uncle's house, they would take care of me. At home, my uncle gave me some things for my father. We went down to the basement and he gave me a red jacket, a pistol, a military knife, and black leather pants. He explained to me that my father hunted creepypastas and humans murderers and that my mother was a martyr until he met her. I was totally stunned. My uncle promised me that he would teach me how to use all of that, and he did. When I could understand everything and regain some peace of mind, I dedicated myself to training and looking for clues about Nina. I discovered that there were many of them with the name The Killer, but it had been Jeff the Killer, the one who had taken her from me. He had turned her into a monster. So I made the decision to do the same as my father and kill all the martyrs that crossed my path. For this reason, every night I go out to kill thieves, martyrs, creepypastas. My thirst for revenge has no limits. But I haven't managed to find her. I just found out she's got a lock of purple hair now, so I have decided to do the same to make her recognize me. I dyed a lock of my hair red, so she'll know I'm looking for her. And one night, while I was absorbed with these thoughts, I heard something in the distance. What are you doing here so late? It had a blue mask with empty eye sockets. I asked him who he was, to which he replied, Eyeless Jack. Then I knew he was a creepypasta, so I didn't hesitate to shoot him with my pistol. But he dodged the bullets. I decided then to throw my knife at him and take advantage of the distraction to shoot him in the foot. So, with him on the ground, I asked him if he knew who Nina was. He said yes and pointed out where she was going. For this reason, I let him go. He had earned it. I started on my way and I only thought one thing. Be careful, Nina. Chris Revenge is looking for you. I kept walking and I managed to see a strange subject. It was Gabriel, a killer. I was as silent as I could keep up with him. And when he noticed my presence, he only turned to feel my knife in his gut. While he was dying, I asked him where Nina was, but he only said that in an abandoned house. So I decided that I had to prepare. I spent several days working, cleaning the area where I would fight with my sister. But soon, I heard that in the city, many people were dying. It was my duty to save them, so I changed my plans to prevent this massacre from continuing. I had to slaughter a terrible monster, call sign in it, and was able to return to the commercial district. There, walking down the street, I saw how some guys were teasing a very pretty girl. I pointed the gun at them and got them to leave. Then I helped her with her things, but she warned me that I could be in danger from her father, Zalgo. I didn't care. We went to breakfast and we talked about our lives. She told me that her father was a demon. But at that moment, I thought it was a metaphor. It got late, so she said goodbye with a kiss on the cheek. That was very nice to me, but it was over. When I lost sight of her, I went to take the train that would take me to the city where Nina was. Along the way, I had to deal with another bad man that I handed over to the police. But my goal was closer. There was going to be a battle between brother and sister. Who would win? <laughs> 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.